Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Now, this reading is going to cover the next two weeks because I will be on vacation next week. Uh, but I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. I thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I'm truly, truly grateful for all your loving and supportive energy. Okay, let's get into your messages. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, not a one-on-one -on -one reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, you have... Metamorphosis. Something emerging. Something wonderful emerging. You might be going through some major changes. Deep freeze. Okay. This makes total sense, Cancer. You might have felt frozen in time. Felt like your energy was plateaued. You were getting nowhere. Okay. Something totally frozen, cold, cold energy. Some of you winter time might have, might be important to you, whether this past winter or this upcoming winter season. But the deep freezes represent something not moving, frozen in time, but it's not, but under the surface, there's something magical going on. There is a transformation, a metamorphosis happening. And a thaw is about to occur and something magical coming out. Okay, something magical emerging. And there and I feel this is representation of your inner self. A major change going on. Okay. Show me this energy for cancer. We have the Emperor in the reverse, the Fool in reverse. Okay, right off the bat, leading up into this week, next two weeks, something, you feel that something is out of your control. Okay, and being that there's something that you feel like you have absolutely no control over, Makes you fearful of taking any, making any kind of moves or any kind of leaps of faith. It's like, I do not want to do something stupid. This is out of my control. I can't do anything. I can't jump in here is what I'm getting. So there, that's the cause of the deep freeze. A situation is going to be different with every cancer. But there's a situation here that you feel is out of your control. That... You feel as though I cannot evolve. I cannot take that leap of faith. I don't dare because somebody else is in control here. Okay. There might be something with authority figures. Okay. Hierophant is your center card that is about having faith. The Hierophant is looking at that fool and saying, why not? Ten of swords. It might be a little bit painful. Six of swords, but there's a smooth transition. I'm relating these two directly. Okay, let's just take a look at a peek under the deck. Princess of Wands. Some kind of communication. Some kind of spark being lit. It's like a new direction. It is like a renewal of energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here, something that was dormant. Something you that was totally out of your control. Something that you felt like, I cannot take that next step forward. Uh, there's a stuck energy. But the Hierophant is set, steps in. The Hierophant is about rules, regulations, policies. He is the highest form of authority. You got two very high authority figures here. We have so, a, a Hierophant that is looking out at the stagnation. For what I'm feeling here is that you are being called to break the rules per se. Break away from what you thought was correct or what you believed was correct. This is conformity. Conformity going along with what everybody else is saying. And this it, but you feel like you can't break the rules. You can't break away from this energy. But the Hierophant says, yes, you can. 
and the situation that you found yourself in does cause a lot of pain. But it does cause, but there is a sense of needing to break away from what society says or what your next door neighbor says, whoever. You need to kind of break out of your conformity. Think outside the box in order to transition away from whatever it is that's keeping you pinned down. Okay. So, let's dig in here. Show me the Emperor Energy. Ace of Cups in the reverse. The lack of emotion. A false start in a romance. Or a false start or a lack of love and emotions here. You might be dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to love. Or somebody who wants to exhibit their authority in a wrong way. This could be emotional manipulation as well. You might be emotionally manipulated by somebody that makes you feel like you can't break free. Interesting, you got three cards that came out for the full card. We have Temperance in Reverse. We have Seven of Swords in the Reverse and the Two of Swords. This is plain and simple. You are blocking your own path. Seven of Swords in the Reverse is talking about a neat you are blocking your own truth, maybe even believing a lie. There is a sense of self-deception here. I know that sounds harsh, Cancer, but I got to tell it as it is coming through. Confusion. There may even have been a truth that came out that you are mentally confused and conflicted over. That in order to heal, you got to take that leap of faith into the unknown. But you are holding yourself back and you are blocking your own progress forward. You cannot put it on this person. Yes, this person is emotionally manipulative. But there's a point where you have to stop allowing this person to manipulate you in such a way. Which, which makes sense of why the Ten of Swords is here. This person has stabbed you in the back many times, inflicted a lot of wounds, and you keep on taking it and taking it and taking it. You may tell yourself, I am out of here. I am leaving. I am done. But you stay still. Meanwhile, under the surface, there's this volcano that is just bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. Eventually, the heat, it will rise to the surface and there will be the thaw and a metamorphosis, a change within is going to take place. But it starts with you not being so rigid. Be flexible with yourself. Stop being narrow-minded or narrow-sighted. This is about taking off the blinders, Okay. Um, there is a victim mentality here. Don't shoot the messenger, but you are victimizing yourself because you continue to allow this person to be, um, uh, manipulate you and play on your emotions to get what they want. This is somebody who does not act with integrity and you know that. This could be a love interest. This could be a family member. This could be a friend or a boss. It could be anybody. It's somebody in your life that is extremely manipulative, that takes advantage, that has no morals or values. They're out for themselves. And it's like they're emotionless, ruthless. 
you're dealing with somebody who's very ruthless. And they manipulate you and play upon your emotions in a negative way because the Ace of Cups is rude in reverse. So that's saying in a negative way, they pull on your heartstrings. And you feel like this person has some kind of dominion over you, but they don't. Okay, show me this Hierophant energy. Hanged men in reverse. Stop suspending and stop sacrificing. Rod in reverse. You have sacrificed a lot for this person. You have suspended closing a cycle out. Because they have all the right things to say. Emotional manipulation. They have all the right things to say. But there is no meaning behind what they say. It's all words. All words. And it causes pain. It's time to find that harmony within. It's time to find that balance. It's time to um, communicate and speak up for yourself. It's time to transition away from this. <coughs> Excuse me. That metamorphosis. The energy's here. But this is kind of where you've been at. That cycle wants to close. You may be seeing things in a new light in the next two weeks. Okay, show me this Ten of Swords. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords. So some of you, this could be third party energy. Just saying, third party interference in something. Could be somebody jealous of a friendship that causes this drama. You may have had a lack of friends, but there's a, there's a celebration here, three of cups. This could be pain involving friendship. Oh, that's caused some outbursts. This, for, if this is not a romantic partnership, this is a friendship at bare minimum. I feel like if this is a friend who had taken some ballsy action that may have taken some action that was very painful but with this world card here, this is a cycle, a repeating cycle that happens over and over again. It's one of them friends that are leeches, but you need to recognize that. Okay, show me the Six of Swords. Justice in the reverse. Somebody did you wrong. Part of you may be waiting on justice to be served before you move on. And I think that some of you may feel like moving on is not the right move. There's doubt here. That's that hook. You know, show me justice in reverse, please. Yep. We're not taking these two. We'll take those three. We have the Empress, Ace of Pentacles, and the Sun. That's one of your power card. Uh, that, no, that's Leo's power card. Could be dealing with a Leo. But. Damn. Somebody may have been. You may have been promised something and they did not fulfill their bargain. They treated you wrong.
To find the sun, you need to plant new seeds. Be productive in self. Stop worrying about justice being served. Transition away from it. When you start, when you take your focus off of that, the universe comes in and does what they need to do. You know, there is karma to pay. Everybody receives their karma, good or bad. You feel robbed of your sun energy, that warmth, that nurturing, nurturing energy with the Empress and the sun together, that's nurturing. You thought that this was something solid, but you need to use that energy of taking off the blinders and seeing things for what they really are. Take an appropriate action. It's human nature to want to see justice served. But sometimes it's <clears throat> when you're focused so much on it, it takes the focus off yourself. When you take the focus off yourself and you project it on something negative like this, uh, justice, justice, I want karma, I want karma. And it seems like it never happens. When you shift your focus away from that, leave it alone. Emerge and transform yourself and you work on self. You work on building your own sun, creating your own sun, your own happy environment. Being very productive in your own life and not worrying about them, that's when you see that change, that metamorphosis. That's when you can find some peace of mind and transition. Put this out of your mind, transition forward, and let the universe take care of the rest. Okay. Any additional information or advice? Official person. So some of you could be dealing with law, court cases, but official person, uh-huh, some of you could be a literal theft, but that thief, this is somebody that has stolen your time and your energy. Official person is somebody important. This is somebody that was very important to you. That meant a lot. But there's been a change. I'm not saying that your, this situation has always been like that. But this is what it's become. This experience is definitely transforming you and changing you. There is a change in the dynamics of this connection. Friendship. Romantic interest or whatever. Thoughts. That's what I'm talking about. You need to change your thoughts. Stop focusing on that. Stop focusing on wanting justice. Stop focusing on it's, the, uh, it's unfair, the victim mentality. Get away from the victim mentality. Center yourself on, center your thoughts, your energy on yourself. And you'll be amazed on how it transforms you from the inside out. Okay, so these are the messages for the upcoming two weeks. Comment as you see fit. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love and light.